big boys around. And this is a phenomenon that is evident in almost all the towns in Kenya. One question that we have been asking ourselves as former street boys is, is there a way that we can impact hope? Is there a way that we can help? This is why we just came up with this project of impacting hope to these young children back in the streets. We know their pain and we know what they are going through. And maybe this is just what we can do for now as we wait for what we can do in future. As I stand here with these street floor street children, I feel so hard because there is no one to look after them, telling uh, many hardships that they go through in the, in, the, in the street. They have no one to look after, they have no food, they have no clean water, they have no shelter, and they have no clothes. So when it fails, they have nowhere to, to, to shelter themselves. So in this project, we have come up with the idea of of finding some support from other people. We will help us feed them, we will help us clothe them, and we will help us find some clean water for them. Beauty for brokenness, hope for despair. Lord, in the suffering, this is our prayer. Bread for the children, justice, joy, peace. Sunrise to sunset, your kingdom increase. Shelter for fragile lives, cure for their ills. Work for the craftsmen, trade for their skills. Land for the dispossessed, rights for the weak. Says to plead the cause of those who can't speak. God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain. Well, behind me is a portrait. Uh, that shelters the miseries of the street children and after yesterday's tour yeah. we realized that they, they do live like brothers and that is how we should always treat them. Uh, we should give them support whenever we find them on the road and uh, they will, we beg for donors if they can come and support our project we will appreciate. Thank you. I'm grateful for the project we have had. Uh, it reminds me of the trust. Um, we were many in the state, but uh, not many of us have reached this point. So I'm grateful to help because, um, because I'm now helping others in the street. Thank you. African plains, a young mother weeps for her hungry child. She prays he'll survive with tear filled eyes. She looks up to heaven and calls your name. She pours out her pain. You know her. Of the poor, help me through the night, help me in the fight, come to my Stained eyes, he looks 
So I think that is a very important and key issue that uh, the society and the government should take should take should take seriously. It's the fact that we know that we have the needy people in our society. When you walk in the street all over the world, you may not see the street the street children or the needy people around where you live. But that, that does not mean that there are no needy people in this world. There are needy people that need to be cared. Yesterday we fed a number of street children, their mothers there, and they had their own children. Remember these are homeless people living in the street. Who are to take care of these people? Is it the government that we always point a finger to? Or is it the society at large? From my point of view, I think it is our, our responsibility as people who care, we must not live ignorantly. Let's help through what we have. Lord, you've been good to me all my life, all my life. Your loving kindness never fails. I will remember all you have done. Bring from my heart. We hope that you've enjoyed watching our presentation. We fed between 120 and 150 street kids and families on the 1st of January 2013 in Yoyo Gardens in Nakuru. We hope to repeat this event in the future and would value your prayer support for that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>